What is going on guys, Rosecler, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a how-to on how to uh, actually install LSPDFR and get it working correctly. So uh, first of all, if you have any mods in your game or anything, I would recommend a fresh install on how to do this. Um, I'm probably not going to do a tutorial on how to install cars and mods and all that. Um, there's other tutorials out there for all of that, but I have been getting all the questions on how to properly install LSPDFR and how to like get it working correctly and all that. I have made a video prior to this, but there has been newer versions of LSPDFR out since then, along with the Rage plugin hook and all of that jazz. So to get this started, we need to go ahead and go to our internet browser, which I'll be using in Firefox for this. And uh, first of all, you want to go ahead and download the, um, you know, the Community Script Hook 5, which would be in the description, along with all these other tabs up here. So uh, the Community Script Hook 5 uh, helps the script uh, which is LSPDFR and all that, run. So to hit download, and uh, again, click this first link right there, and it will go ahead and download. You want to open it with Renoir or a 7-zip or anything you might have. Let me go and drag it from my second monitor there. And um, you'll have these four files. What you basically want is these two files right here. So now that we have that installed, let's go ahead and uh, actually, let's go to our main directory here which is going to be under steam for me um if it's under steam for you it'll probably be right there except for that being different um here's my single player folder so this is my single player folder so to go ahead and install this we want to bring up the thing we just downloaded from renoir and go ahead and take these two files and just boop right in your main directory i'm not going to do it because i already have them but um that's basically how you do that you know, you want to make sure it's over like right here or something because if you do it over a folder right here, it's going to go in that folder and it's not going to work correctly and possibly crash your game. So, uh, you know, that's that's the urge here is to uh, make sure that you don't drag anything in a folder. Next thing you want to do is come over here to uh, script script hook five, which is basically uh, related to the community script hook, but it's completely different. So, um, this link will be in the description as well. You want to go down here and uh, see the release date. So it was released February 25th, which actually I need to update this. Um, so you want to go where it says download. Make sure it's under this website because that's official. You don't want any, you don't want to download any viruses or anything. So um, go ahead and click download right here, and it'll just it'll bring up with Renoir right quick like. So uh, no, don't want that. And uh, you'll have these three files. You want to click bin, and then you'll have these three files. So right here, you want to go ahead and. Uh, highlight all three of these now if you want to use the trainer that comes with it go for it but i'm not about that i, I have my own trainer in and all of that so um you want to bring up your main directory again i'm in my main directory which is right here and drag those two files in your main directory make sure they're right here over to the side make sure they're not over any folders because like i said if they're on the folder it's going to mess up all right we're done with that Next thing to do is actually download LSPDFR itself. Go to lcpdfr.com or lspdfr.com and uh, go over to mods and click LSPDFR right here, which will uh, bring up this. As you can see, it was updated February 26th. I'll uh, go and click the LSPDFR first response and uh, click download this file. Click agree and download. And uh, if you want to do an um, automatic install, go for it. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be doing a manual install, which is just as easy. I, th I find it actually better to do a manual install instead of automatic, so it doesn't really place any files that you don't want to or anything. So it's basically so you have more control over it. Uh, I don't know why Firefox is taking forever to download stuff, but you know it's been acting up lately. I don't know what's going on with my internet download speed, but uh, we're going to have to figure that out soon. Okay, well, it's all downloaded, and um, you know... It's all right here in this Renoir file. So basically, what you want to do from here is go to your main directory again. And uh, go ahead and go back on the Renoir file. Control A on all of them. Oh, no. Nope. Control A. Uh, yeah, see, I think I think they got rid of one file here. So that's, that's pretty good, I guess. Alright, so here's all the files right here. Um, go ahead and Control A on it, like I said. And uh, make sure all of them are highlighted, such as like this. Go ahead and drag them in your main directory folder. Make sure it's not over any of these because it'll mess up your game. But drag them right here in your main directory. And uh, click uh, replace or anything if you already have it installed. But if you don't have it installed, it'll just put it right in there. 
which I already have it installed, and uh, you know, you don't want to add insult to injury, so we're not going to be replacing any files such as right now. But um, next thing you want to do is come over to RagePluginHook.net, and uh, it'll ask you to uh, accept the cookies that it places on your computer, which is completely uh, fine, it's all safe and everything. Uh, these are trusted developers uh, related to LSPDFR itself. So uh, basically, it'll bring you to downloads right here. And uh, once you see downloads, go and click downloads right here. And then uh, look at the recent version of the Rage plugin hook, which is going to be the Open Alpha 0.36. Don't mind these numbers right here. Just um, see the 0.36, etc. Uh, what we want to do is just click that and click OK, and it'll download it. Uh, here's the files that is the Rage plugin hook. Now, Rage plugin hook keeps everything updated along with the scripts and all of that. So you want to go ahead and highlight all these, Control A, and then unselect the SDK, and then um, go and drag these in your main directory once again. Make sure it's not over any folders. Make sure it's in the blank space right here to the left. Now, once you install all of that, you can hop in game, go to a police station, and make sure uh, your game is all loaded up correctly, along with the loading screen that it prompts you. Uh, when you load in the uh, game. So when you load in the game you actually want to use the uh, Rage Plugin Hook shortcut that it can be found in your main directory but um, for your first time setup you're gonna have to configure it which is pretty easy uh, you know it's easy for users and all that to uh, follow. Once you do that you want to launch GTA 5 uh, the mods or LSPDFR you want to launch it by this right here you don't want to launch it with the normal GTA 5 launcher, you want to launch it with this because this enables all the scripts in LSPDFR for it to work. Now when you go to play online, if you do play online, you want to make sure uh, to have a separate directory. Now that's what I recommend. I recommend to have a separate directory uh, such as this. Like I have two directories in my Steam folder, it's going to be Steam Apps Common. And uh, this is my multiplayer folder which is not modded. Which is uh, really good. You won't, you don't want to have a modded folder and then like delete everything and go back to uh, a non-modded folder. You just don't want to take a risk of getting banned online because if it detects any mods in your GTA 5 folder when you go to play online, it will ban you. Like the automatic servers will catch that. So you want to make sure there's no mods in your game, and I recommend a completely different directory. Now it may be 60 gigabytes each, but it is worth it at the end, just in case. Also, if you do need to back up any files that you replaced or modded in the uh, modded folder. So that's it for this tutorial. If you did find it helpful, go ahead and let me know by leaving a like and or a comment down in the uh, comments below. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. So have a good day and peace out.